Ah, greetings YouTubers. Welcome to 2021. Um, as you can see, I'm not on the station. I'm over here at Tyne Dock. Let me show you what I've been up to. So, as you can see, I have added a extension um, just in front of Tyne Dock Station. If I just remove this then you'll recognize where we are so the reason why I'm doing this I'm waiting for some plastic strips so I can um, continue with the station so I thought well instead of me hanging around for a, a week or so I might as well put in this little extension um, as you can see the baseboards in and I'm in the process of painting the road um, with a very dark grey um, I'd like to have started this um, in the middle of the year but I thought I'd just do uh, this little extension board for now and paint the road in um, as you can see we've got a little T-junction here and it goes under the bridge there so I'm not going to do the other side yet where the level crossing is going to go where that um, fire station is at the moment. I just thought I'd um, do this little bit. And as you can see I've marked it out here for another T-junction. So obviously this is buildings going in here. Um, but uh, I haven't even thought about those yet so I just thought I'd do this little job. It's a little fill-in job really. Well, um, I'm waiting for those plastic strips. Now then the baseboard itself, it's only about six inches here and twelve inches here. And it's roughly about three foot in length. So it just adds a little bit of a frontage to the station rather than just, just coming out to the station and falling off <laughs> onto the floor so yeah so it'll, it'll add an extra interesting feature to the layout um, yeah because we, we've, we've got the pub there which is going to go back and then all these buildings which are stacked up on, on the line at the moment they'll go back in different um, configurations but uh, that will be later on in the year so I'll just quickly do this little job and uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. As you can see this just adds a new dimension to this corner. And I've still got a little bit of a gap here to gain access if I need to because from this point here to the blossom just beyond the bridge there it's roughly about four and a half foot deep and also it's just um, adds a bit more scenery because there just seems to be too much track and not enough houses in this little area and the paint I've been using is the um, masonry paint which you get in from wicks and the little tester pots and uh, I just had a little bit of PVA and a little bit of acrylic and water and it dries ever so quick yeah literally what well, I did that what, 20 minutes ago and it's drying out pretty quick and now that the paint is dry I've started to put some of the buildings back and some of the vehicles onto the roads so 
So this is a view from the other side. Right, I think I shall leave that for now and we'll come back to it in a later video. Something that uh, I'll be looking forward to doing. From one area to another area, just about here. As you can see, in the last video there was a gap there. So I put in a piece of plywood and covered it with some Metcalf stone M0058. And uh, what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to tidy up this little area. I'm not going to do any great deal of work on this area. But what I want to do is just hide the gaps. So I've done that and I'm just going to add a little bit of detail with some extra um, Metcalf card strips just around these corners here. And what I'm going to do then is at the far end, which is here, um, I'm just going to add this piece of card, glue that onto there, add some card into there, basically just hide all the plywood bits. Um, at some point I will be looking at this drawer, it's, um, this pull out drawer um, at some point because I want I want to um, cut this out and turn that into a river of some sort if I could and make these three tracks here here and here uh, as, a, as a bridge as well going over a river um, this is the buff stone I'm using just to go around on the top half of the bridge is to add some extra detail. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Now doesn't that look better? Um, so I've got rid of that horrible gap that was in there. Um, pinned a bit of plywood to it to the um, track bed and stanchion that was supporting the track bed and adding this stone sheeting Mid calf stone sheeting and then breaking it up just by adding a different type of, of mid calf sheet just to um, add a little bit of detail there. So that's that little area finished with the mid calf anyway. I've still got to come back to this area to fit in the stone capping and to weather the card. So that'll be a job. Um, sometime in the future and this obviously there's still a bridge to put in there and just round the corner from that bridge we go over this um, viaduct as it were and we come to this bridge here and I've actually put the mid calf sheet on this buttress as well and split it up with some roofing tiles um, which has followed the pattern throughout this section. So while we've got the mid calf stone um, sheet out I might as well do the steps which lead from the bottom of this alleyway up to the little break in the wall over there. which is here just outside the east station of South Shields. So the uh, idea is to, is to bring the staircase down from there to this ground level here which will then create a little alley so I think I'll be leaving these two buildings here once I um, get onto this little big project. Anyway, the ironic thing is if you get off the train, you come down these steps, you walk along the high street, it's just here. Carry on walking along the high street. Was it about a 20 minute walk? And then you're at another station just here. Time to 
So it's a bit weird having um, two stations um, in walking distance, really. But hey ho. Anyway, this is a staircase I did many years back. Um, this was made out of plywood, 3 mil plywood. Um, but the new one, I'm going to be making that out of um, card. So I'll be f making it something similar to uh, this. So now we're just about to start the steps. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a drawing here, which gives me the height from the floor to the underside of the opening that you've just seen, um, which is 22 mil wide where the uh, brick pillars are. And it's 150 mil to the underside of the um, stone capping. So with that in mind, I had to make up a platform step, which is the step which is right at the very top. And here we have the gap between the two pillars that would slot in and then as you come around the corner that will be your first step going down um, I don't know if you noticed but that wall is on a curve and I'm going to have to glue two or three these together and then on a third one twist it round to follow the curve as it goes down to the floor um, so that's what I'm going to have to do um, this is the end wall and that will then be glued to the top of that mark there which is the exact height of the top card because that, the hunt, that there is 128 mils and that one goes up to 129 mils which is the thickness of one of these cards so that lip then should go between the walls and um, give us a starting point for the steps coming down so here we have a plan on how I'm going to tackle the, these steps. Um, we've got the top landing, we've already done that. So what we're going to do now is create five steps, three millimeters thick by six millimeters um, uh, depth. And we'll have five steps before we come to a landing, which will be 12 millimeters from the edge. And then we revert back to the six millimeter steps from the edge and we're going to continue this pattern until we get to the ground level and then we'll uh, see where we are from there so here we have all the steps from the ground level to reach up to the station road and um, believe it or not there's 39 steps here I, I couldn't believe it when I counted them up because what I did was well you've seen what I did I glued the top uh, platform to the upright and I've just filled in the distance between the top and the bottom and it works out exactly 39 steps so it doesn't look like steps at the moment so we've got to glue them to the side of the wall I think that's the only way I can do this so let's go and have a look three down 36 to go as you can see, we've got the first landing in. So now it's just a case of putting in another five steps. As you can see, we've reached the second of the um, platforms, as it were. And we're not even halfway down the wall yet. I 
as you can see from this angle the wall bends towards us and then as we come down to the fourth landing it bends away from us now the better view of the steps is looking at it down through this way so here we go the last of the steps the 39 steps Well, so that's that little job finished. Um, what I'll have to do now is, wherever I've got a landing, is to double thickness it with card, so I've got something to glue the um, stone walling onto. I might have to put a joint in it because I'm sure that's over 280 mil long, but uh, we'll have to see. So there we go. 39 steps. So as you can see I've added the supports which stiffens all this up. This is rock solid now. Uh, so the next thing to do is add the wall. So I've cut the wall which will go in there like so. So it's just waiting for the Metcalf card to go on. But before I do that I need to paint steps and um, I'm also thinking of adding a little handrail to go all the way down so I might do that as well so paint steps first then we'll have a look at the handrail so as you can see I've now painted the steps um, using the concrete grey and uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably lighten it and then add some black into the corners and give it a really weathered look. And here we have the handrail. I've just bent it out of a piece of copper and as you can see I've soldered some little lugs on so that that can be drilled and glued in position. Now I've taken this pattern from the wall I made earlier so it's almost a perfect fit so all I've got to do now is paint it and once it's painted just drill the holes into the wall and then glue it in now that we've glued the handrail in place um, I super glued it to the wall but I had to drill out the wall first using a one millimeter drill just to give me a little bit of clearance and it seemed like it was taking forever for the super glue to go off it's probably down to the size of the hole um, because the wire is only 0 0.8 so there was plenty of clearance in the holes to allow for movement and um, yeah that seems to have worked it looks like a handrail um, the hand mill is 11 millimeters off the landings so each one of these landings I've measured up 11 millimeters and then 11 millimeters off that step to get the, the height right and if we put uh, this little figure here somewhere whoops that looks about right for a handrail So what I'm doing now is I'm just toning down the concrete using some white powders um, because it's less messy than using paints I think as you 
can see there that there's it's not changing it by much because there's the the darker paint and there's the lighter paint so it's just subtly toning it down and what I'll do with that is once it's done I'll just use a little bit of black to go over the top it seems to be working yeah I like the way that that's looking so you can see the difference these ones I haven't done yet, these two the moment of truth whether this still fits now as you can see I've managed to keep the shape of this wall by every time I put a layer of card on it's just to keep bending it to keep it to the shape because it's as you'll see when it's all glued together so I've got the glue on the wall just in case of pressing this one right we'll just leave that to dry so as you can see I've now added some um, capping stones which is the usual coffee stirring sticks uh, scored them with a little um, saw um, at least by uh, four and a half to five millimeters apart and uh, that just requires same as what I've done here with the yellow base coat going over with some green and black hopefully it'll end up the same color So as you can see I've already added the yellow and I'm just going over with a little tiny bit of black and then I'll just wipe that off as quick as I can with the cotton bud. Bear in mind the, the yellow is still damp. And then the next bit is just to go over with some dark green. then just go through every individual stone of leaving as much as you like on and or, or just taking it off completely so it's been a few hours now and um, the paint is uh, more or less dry and it kind of matches the paint next door on the other capping stones so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I do like the way the, um, the stairs have come out. Um, I didn't bother using uh, any black as such. Just maybe a light dusting with a bit of powder paints. But um, no. So that little piece is finished now. So this is a better view of the staircase as you can see it, the way it shapes itself around the wall and it's worked out quite well I think and uh, there's a little alleyway it 
So, I think that's all from me this week. See you again next week. Bye for now. Bye.